sad. This is my first love letter I've ever written. Disclaimer, it's going to be sappy, cheesy, and lovey-dovey. Today I feel very happy because I notice at what seems like every passing moment the impact you were having on me. You already give me strength to face whatever obstacles come my way without fear or insecurity. I can only hope that I give you a glimpse of what I feel at this very moment. I've only known you for a short amount of time. Two months, I think. And, and I want you to know how incredibly amazing I know you are. I'm in love, and I knew the day I met you that my life has changed forever. Our first date, we went fishing on a boat at the cove, just the three of us. And then I put Farah, <laughs> because Farah was there. That was the most magical and romantic night of my life. Thinking of our first kiss under the moonlight in the water still gives me the cold chills. After the first kiss, it was official that I was addicted to Brad Wolf. <laughs> you are gorgeous and adorable. You make me realize how good it is to feel alive. Your very presence makes me grow and transform into a better person. You are capable of turning dreams, which are now shared by both of us, into reality. Together we will turn them into an ambiance of harmony, care, and love. Loving you makes me feel safer, but more alive at the same time. I now know what love really is. I will always be aware of this love, and constant readiness to review this feeling is a promise of a truthful worship I have towards you. I have absolute certainty that my biggest fulfillment is knowing that I can make you the happiest man and the most beloved man on this earth. Without you, my life lacked meaning, lacked sense. I feel that this love and care that I share here with you goes both ways and it fills my heart with peace and joy. In such a small amount of time, you've already added so much to my life and I have never been so excited for the future and I can't wait to see what it holds. Thank you for letting me love you, love Sarah. by God time. I sit down and kind of work things out with God. Sarah, 12 years ago, I started in prayer. Come on, God. You told me not to do this. <laughs> and the prayer went like this. God, please send someone special in Sarah's life that will be a husband and mate for life. Through the years, Sarah's been guys, and she brought them home. And I would go to my God time and I'd say, God, is that that special someone? And he'd come back and say, you will know. You will know. And then a couple of years later, she'd find someone else. Or maybe next month, she'd find someone else. <laughs> and I would go into my God time and I'd say, God, please, 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 don't let that be somebody special. A year and a half ago, Sarah called me. No, she didn't. She never calls me. She texts me. <laughs> oh, no. 
Chief Betty Guy, a guidance counselor, worked for Metro City Schools. My heart got warm. Educators kind of stick together. We're a family. And I want you to know, Brad, the first time I shook your hand inside my house, I said something special. You guys left. Come on, God. Give me another. Uh, you left on Sunday. I went into my God time on Monday. I said, God, if Brad that special someone, you will know. You will. That lady, Brad called me. And most fathers would say, oh, what's happened to Sarah? Oh gosh, something must have happened. Brad, I knew. Brad asked for Sarah's head. I'm here that day. Today, at 525, a prayer that I've been praying for 20 years. Was that it? Grant, you're that special someone.